गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू तो इस टॉपिक इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट कवर्ड इन अर्लियर लेक्चर्स दैट द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द लिक्विड मिक्सचर इज द टेम्परेचर एट विच द टोटल वेपर प्रेशर बिकम इक्वल टू द एक्सटर्नल एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर्स दिस एट दिस टेम्परेचर एट दिस प्रेशर द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इज एक्सिस्ट the variation of boiling points with the compositions depends on the type of the liquid mixtures there are three types of the liquid mixtures type first if the liquid mixture form is the ideal then the variation of the boiling point is regular with the composition the boiling point of mixture is uh, intermediate between the boiling point of air components example mixture of methanol and the ethanol and the type th- <coughs> second is the if the liquid mixture shows the negative deviations from the rolls law then the boiling point curve shows the minimum at an intermediate composition example is ethanol and the water and type third if the liquid mixture shows the negative deviation from the rolls law then the boiling point curve shows the maximum at an intermediate compositions example water plus hcl next is the distillation of the ideal mixtures in that the liquid mixture of the type first here is the one side gives the fractions of the molecules and another side gives the temperatures and the fractions are given as the x x2 and the total fraction b uh, temperature are given the t1 t2 t3 and the total temperature ta we will get the vapor liquid uh, composition graph in the ideal solutions vapor pressure and the boiling points varies regularly with the compositions if the solution composition x is heated of the temperature t then the liquid will be boiled at this temperature and the vapor will have composition x1 which will be richer into b and the residual solution in the richer in a the liquid at y composition will have the boiling point t1 as their number of distillation increases the liquid will be only a and it will boil at the ta which is boiling point of pure a the vapor phase which is coming from the liquid boiling temperature will have composition xb if this vapor are the condensed and the liquid boil again the boiling point will be the t2 and the composition of the vapor phase will be zero if this repeated many times the distillation obtained will pure b ultimately both the pure forms of a and b can be separated from each others so the next is the liquid mixture of the type seconds here also the one side is the temperature and another side is the pressures pressure and the one side is the pressure and another side is the composition of the materials are given and the points are a and b are used for indications and there are we get the two curves this diagram of the liquid mixtures paper page shows a minimum point at c where liquid and the vapor phase have some compositions which boils at the constant temperatures it will distill over the completely without any change in the compositions this is caused uh, constant boiling mixtures or azeotropic mixtures on distillation this mixture with the compositions a by heating the vapor will have a composition which is richer in the azeotrope composition the residual liquid will be the richer in a it will never be possible to separate the pure b on distillation the mixture with the composition a by heating the vapor will have composition which is richer in the azeotrope compositions the residual liquid will be richer in a it will never be possible to separate the pure b similarly if the mixture of the composition b is heated the vapor will have the even composition which is richer in azeotrope compositions the residual liquid will be rich in the b it will never be the possible to separate the pure e example ethanol water systems next system is the liquid mixture type third 
In that composition X B on one side, another side the boiling point temperatures and the uh, fractions are given vapor and the vapors pressure are there. So in this case this diagram shows the maximum boiling points at the point C where the liquid and the vapor phase have the same composition with highest temperature and the point C which caused as a called as the constant boiling composition and which is volatile in nature. So this diagram is especially show the maximum boiling points at the point C where the liquid and vapor phase have the same composition with highest temperature. The point C is called as the constant boiling compositions which is at the volatile in nature. So if the solution of the composition A is distilled out then the first fractions obtained will contain composition A1 which is richer in A. The residual liquid will be richer in the C. As the distillation continues the distillates will be richer in A and residual solution is richer in C. Then the pure B will not be separated. Similarly mixture of composition B is distilled out then it will have the vapor compositions and the residual liquid is richer in pure C and the pure A cannot be separated. So the mixture acetones examples of this types third is the mixture of the acetone and the chloroform both are the volatiles and the water and the SCLs both are the non volatile and water and HNO3 both are the non volatiles so this is all about the type first type second and type third types of compositions type third type of mixtures which show the composition and the boiling point curves and the, the graphs so all this is all about uh, composition and the boiling point curve next is the isotropic mixtures that is isotropes so you know that the, what is the isotropes uh, the isotrope is uh, nothing but the boiling mixture which lead to the formation of the definite compounds isotropic mixture is the isotropes are nothing but the const constant boiling mixtures which lead to the forms of the definite compounds the definite compound have the definite composition on over the given range of the temperature and the pressure since the total pressure change then both the temperature and the composition of the isotropic mixture changes the isotropic mixtures are formed by the specific interaction like the hydrogen bonding between the components of the mixture example the isotropic mixtures here are the systematically given the all the types that is the they are given the detail that is type A, type B, type C and along with the type A boiling point, type B boiling point, percentage and type C also. So type A main boiling point is ethanol. By main ethanol boiling point is also B1, maximum boiling point is also Q1, main ethanol and CCL4 boiling point is 78.3 and 76.3 water and ethanols boiling point 100 degree centigrade and 78.3 degree centigrade. Water pyridine is the 100 and the pyridine is the 115.5 and SCL and formic acid. SCL is 18.40 and uh, formic acid is 100.7 percentage by weight also is given here that is 95.5 and 83.5 again in case of the maximum 79.78 and 82 points are also given this is the representation of the data about the isotropic compounds next is the breaking up of the isotropic mixtures In the breaking up of the isotropic mixture, uh, one of the components of the mixture can be washed off using the suitable solvent. Example, in alcohol benzene, isotropic alcohol can be removed by washing it with the waters. 
and the one of the component can be diminished using the suitable chemical agents next one is example is the ethanol water azeotropic waters can be removed mm. and the calcium oxide cao calcium carbide ca2 which do not react with the alcohol and third one is the by comparing the distillation under the pressure under the pressures so next points of this discussion so you understand that the breaking up of the hydrotropic mixture is also possible so <coughs> in case of the this breaking of the azeotropic mixtures one of the components of the mixture can be washed off using the suitable solvent example the solvent is alcohol in benzene alcohol benzene as the drop alcohol can be removed by washing it with the waters second main is the one of the components can be diminished using the suitable chemical reagent example in ethanol water as a drop water can be removed calcium oxide calcium carbide which do not react with the alcohols third one is the by comparing the distillation under pressures so next is the liver rule in case of liver rules when the two phases are in the equilibrium then it is the impact known as compounds and the number of moles of each phase this can be studied with the help of following phase diagrams that is amount of fractions and the pressures so you will get the fractions that is x1 x a x and a and the pressure is the p along with the another axis so the horizontal line connecting two phases boundaries is called as tie lines and uh, any point on the tie lines represent the same composition of the liquids and vapors spaces as the x a and y a respectively the only difference that exist from point to point is the relative amount of two phases next when the while removing the v there are two types possibilities as the neg negative inversely distance uh, a l proportions to amount of the vapor form inversely and distance of v proportion to amount of the liquid forms so length al and the length av length al amount of vapor forms length av amount of liquid forms so it is clear that the amount of number of the moles in each phase is inversely proportional to the horizontal distance tie line between the phase boundaries and point representing over all composition of the systems this relation is known as a lever rules so it is clear that the amount of number of moles in each phase is inversely proportional to the horizontal distance that is tie line between the phase boundary and the point representing the overall the composition of the system this is this relation is known as the lever rules next is the partial miscibility of the liquids certain pair of liquids are miscible with each other in limited range of the concentration such uh, liquids are known as the partial miscible liquids for example small quantity of phenol ether for example small quantity of phenol ether anilines is added to the water at a room temperature the mixture is shaken it is observed that the organic compounds dissolve completely in the water if the addition of the organic compound is continuous and a stage will be appeared where the composition is no more soluble and give the solutions the saturated solution of organic compound in the waters and saturated solution of water in the organic compound such as solutions of different compositions are formed which is referred to as the conjugated solutions next is the critical solution temperature that is the consolidated temperature the temperature at which the two layers have become identical in composition and physically distinct indistinguishable is called as a critical solution temperatures lower critical solution temperature when the critical solution temperature is lower than the room temperature is known as a lower critical solution temperatures upper critical solution temperature when the critical solution temperature is high 
then the room temperature is known as upper critical solution temperatures depending on the critical solution temperature partial miscibility solution liquid classified into three classes so the friends we will discuss this three classes in the next lecture thank you thank you very much